And now we have Chris Padilla with a &E. So Chris, I heard there are a lot of toys on display this weekend. Actually, yeah. Nostalgia made a visit this weekend at the San Jose Super Toy and Comic Show. Over the weekend, thousands of toy enthusiasts turned out at the Santa Clara Community Fairgrounds to see and buy some of their favorite childhood toys. Jasmine Strakhan has more on the story. Hot Wheels, comic books, and Barbie dolls never go out of style, especially not this week. Thousands of toys were on display and available for purchase to children, comic book fanatics, and collectors alike. The show at the Santa Clara County Fairgrounds started in 1994, but in its 25 years, it shows no sign of slowing down. Uh, it's fun to see people come with their families. So I've been in business so long that I had kids that were 15 years old. Now they have their own kids and they come as a group. The two-day event offers vendors the opportunity to sell their vintage belongings and toy collectors to get the chance to add unique items to their collections or reminisce about the toys they've had during their childhood. Coming here, seeing all these toys, I remember what I have. I see toys I wanted to get but never had the chance to. It's just basically one big trip to memory lane. The prices range from 50 cents to $500. Vendors pay $159 to rent a booth and they determine all prices and the value they believe each toy or item has. But some enjoy the bargaining that goes into securing a toy's new home. Um, I go with my husband and it's Whenever he wants to buy something, it's always kind of fun to see like the bartering that goes on, like their initial reaction, and he's like, okay, no, that's not what you're going to get, kind of thing. After so many years, Castro invites actors to the show to keep people interested in coming. Actress Karen Allen, who played Marion Ravenwood in the Indiana Jones franchise, Raiders of the Lost Ark, was at the show and took pictures with fans and signed autographs. The San Jose Super Tour and Comic Show happens four times a year. The next one is in June. In San Jose, Jasmine Strakan, Update News. A mural created by 100 local artists currently stands on 1st Street in downtown San Jose. The end product of the 100 Blocks SJ project was unveiled Friday night. The project was made possible through the nonprofit organization Exhibition District, run by San Jose artist Aaron Salazar. 90% of the artists are from San Jose, they created the two-week project in about a week because sustained rains kept them from using the entire two-week time period. Mayor Sam Licardo was also present at the unveiling, emerging from the crowd as a special surprise guest. Local artist Patron is one of the many who worked on the project with his mural block addressing the homeless problem in San Jose. The main reason is to beautify the city and show what kind of a talent that the San Jose, city of San Jose has in the Bay Area and what uh, kind of um, thoughts they have about if they're like, the people here are like mirrors to what's going on. Each block is distinct and unique to each artist, yet a wall filled with colors and art connects them all. More than 100 people gathered at the San Jose Museum of Art over the weekend to enjoy a night full of fun and free thanks to a local tech company. Amanda Whitaker has more on the story. Facebook First Fridays is a partnership between the social media giant and the museum. It offers guests free admission to all exhibitions and programs. It's awesome that um, you know they opened up the museum to the community because I think a lot of people live here and you know have never came and checked it out. So I think that's awesome. Facebook has partnered with the San Jose Museum of Art. The company's art department sponsors the event put on each month. There's a lot of first-time visitors to San Jose Museum of Art right now, and that's amazing. This sponsorship initiative helps to support local artists and neighboring artistic communities. The museum is able to stay open late from 5 to 9 p.m. Aside from the art, guests can also enjoy live music, drinks, and a photo booth. This month, attendees of the museum can view the largest solo exhibition in the U.S. curated by artist Din Pu Le from now until Sunday, April 7th. The exhibition displays a variety of video and photography installations about war and migration from people in North Vietnam. I was mostly looking at the pictures and the writing. Um, my family is from Vietnam, so it's kind of nice to see all this stuff because well, I don't hear too much about it from my parents. So it's nice to see the pictures. Another exhibit visitors can enjoy is Other Walks, Other Lines. This exhibit focuses on artwork made during the last 30 years from artists around the world who believe that walking makes up the center of our universe. 
This event continues to draw in large crowds each month. The next event will take place Friday, April 5th. In San Jose, Amanda Whitaker, Update News. If you're a student who likes to tell jokes or have a laugh, All Comedy SJSU is the club for you. This hosts free on-campus comedy shows in the Student Union Theater twice a semester, including this one last week. Some of the jokes were edgy, others were lighthearted. The comedians who perform with All Comedy SJSU are students and alumni who come together to express themselves through their jokes. So you can let yourself be real. That's why like when some of the jokes may be dark or some of the jokes be light or some of the jokes even just be straight messed up, people can laugh because they're like, okay, this is a safe place. I can be safe with you. All Comedy SJSU is an on-campus comedy club that has been around for seven years. They have members of all members ranging from theater to engineering. Uh, blindly putting on makeup is now a thing of the past. Now that MUA is on campus, the acronym stands for Makeup Artists. The club is all about the benefits of wearing makeup and boosting one's self-confidence. Domino Ibarra has a story. Palettes, brushes, skincare, and more. The Makeup Artists Club aims to teach students how to apply makeup and take care of their skin. There are no requirements for joining. It's open to all genders, professional makeup artists, non-professionals, and more. So we just want to make other people to feel more comfortable and just mm, feel better about themselves on school days. The club hosts meetings and organizes workshops with guest speakers talking about anything beauty related. At this workshop last week, skincare sales executive Amira Lise showed cleansers beneficial for face wash. All of us are kind of bombarded with social media and different information of what works for somebody out there. So to actually get personal information um, for you, I think it's definitely going to be a huge benefit. In the years since it's been on campus, MUA has gained an emailing list of more than 300 people and an Instagram following of 380. Madison Chang co-founded MUA with Nikki Chen as a confidence boost to share with fellow students. I just feel a lot better wearing makeup. Not that I don't feel better in my own skin, but it just enhances my features, and I like that um, you can be however creative you are. Both Chang and Chen are studying business marketing. Chang hopes to do social media marketing for an any environmentally conscious makeup brand, and Chen wants to focus more on educating people about natural skincare. They say makeup is a skill that can apply to everyone who wants to look their best. MUA will be hosting their next event with Paul Mitchell Cosmetology School to learn more about makeup and how to take better care of your hair. On campus, Domino Ibera, Update News. And that does it for arts and entertainment. What well, makeup tips and tricks would you want to learn? The difference between eyeliner and lip liner, I guess. <laughs> when we come back, Joe Royas with sports. San Jose State football begins their spring training, rain or shine. Spartans men's basketball. West Tournament. In former SJC Tiger, shows out of the NFL Combine. Stay tuned to Update News.